Hello and a very warm welcome to Denise at Denmark Open 2020, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. Denmark is a nation of only five and a half million people, a nation focused on the whole human being with quality work time and quality leisure time. A nation paying attention to an active life for young as well as old, and of course, sustainable green solutions. We are live from Unse Sports Park, Denmark. Unse, the third largest city in Denmark and the hometown of fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen. I'm Orton Frost, will guide you the first five matches and later Jill Clark and Steen Peterson will take over. Please sit back and do enjoy. Today is the third day of competition and let's have a look at some of the matches in court number one. Match number two is a women's singles that will feature the ever hard-working former world champion Osomi Okuhara of Japan. Okuhara surprisingly did not manage to win a title in 2019, but a steady performer often reaching the semi-final stage in tournaments. Match number three, the former world number one Sri Kan Kidambi of India had a terrible start to the year. It will be interesting to see whether he can kickstart his way back into the top ten. Yesterday, Kidambi came through in a two straight game match against Toby Penty of England. Match number nine, Jan Nu Jorgensen is playing his last international tournament. Yesterday, we saw a very, very emotional Jan. He played his first Denmark Open back in 2005. Match number 10. There's a men's singles featuring Hans Christian Wittinghus versus Lakshya Sen. A clash of generations, a young Lakshya Sen on the way up in the world against the established Dane. Will Sen be able to overcome Wittinghus for the first time? And match 11, a women's singles between the Olympic champion and three times a world champion Carolina Marin and the young Danish rising star Lene Christoffersen. A very difficult ta a task for the young player as Marin showed a strong performance in her opening match. And uh, here we have the much sought after magnificent trophy for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. And here we've got the draw in the men's doubles. Men's doubles, the first match of the day, and we will focus on the uh, clash between the two Danish pairs, Astrup and Erasmus in the number four seat against Eiper and Kerr. have been on social media for quite a while talking about how much they were looking forward to get back into action here at the Denise Denmark Open. And uh, you could see when they played uh, their first match on the in the first round against the Canadian pair, Jason Hoshu and Yukar Kura of Canada, where they won 21-10, 21-15. They were full of beans. They really enjoyed their time on court. And here we have the two Danish players coming on to court. Kim Astrup, the left-hander, leading the two players on to court. Kim Astrup, uh, 20 eight years of age now, and partner underscore Rasmussen, 31 years of age. Their opponents, also from Denmark, uh, is uh, Joel Eiper and uh, Rasmus Kier. And Joel Eiper, 23 years of age, is leading the two players onto court. Uh, Rasmus Kier, 22 years of age. Joel Eiper won silver, was the silver medalist at the World Junior Championship back in 2015 with uh, Frederik Struggle, obviously also from Denmark. So it will be interesting to see what the two youngsters can do against the very established pair, Astrup and Rasmussen. Okay. 
And Astrup and Rasmussen, they played their first Denmark Open back in 2013. I threat, your choice. Service, okay. Receiving, and all right. So, Joe Leiper, Rasmus Kier won the toss and chose to serve. Joe Leiper to serve. And here we got Kim Astrup, 28 years of age. And uh, presently they are number 12 on the world ranking and that's based on uh, 19 tournaments. As we can see, they've been as high as uh, number five on the world ranking and the first time that happened was on the 27th of September 2018. On the race to the World Tour Finals, the pair is uh, number eight and uh, on the race to the Olympics, uh, they are qualified as number 10 presently. Here we got Anna's score Brasmus, 31 years of age, and uh, all the statistics I just mentioned for Astrup is obviously also applying to Rasmussen. The qualification for the Olympics, where they are number 10 is based on a 16 tournaments. The first match, as I earlier mentioned, against the Canadian pair, they won 21 10, 21 15 in just 35 minutes. And uh, Joel Iber is 23 years of age. And uh, at the moment, the are uh, number 125 on the world ranking and is based on six tournaments only. The best the pair has reached, this pair has reached is 112 and that happened in January this year. But uh, of course with former partners, they've been higher here. We saw Rasmus Kier, he's 22 years of age. And uh, in their first match, they beat Hess and Pistorius of uh, Germany in a thrilling uh, three-setter. It was play. very touch and go in the first two games, but then coming through 21-15 in the third, all in 53 minutes. That match against the German pair, Hess and Pistorius, was a little bit of a nervous affair for the two youngsters. They really looked very nervous when they were playing. The umpire for the match is uh, Fabio Beto of Italy. And the service judge is Iris Mespalu from Estonia. It's interesting uh, statistics. I think about Astrup and Rasmussen. Okay. They have Ladies never ever in the Denmark right, Open passed the Iber second round. Denmark. And on my left, Kim Astrup and Astrup Rasmussen, Denmark. Jill Iber to serve to Kim Astrup. Lavo, play. So third day in the competition is starting. Lavo will play. I put a serve. Oh. Service over. One, love. It's easy to see that the Seven two youngsters over. feel oh. a lot, lot more comfortable here on court than what they did in the first match against the German pair. Already here, you can see they do not have the same kind of nerves. 
as what they had in the first match. The pair became uh, runners-up twice in 2019 at the Austrian International Challenge and the Spanish International Two, Challenge. One. But it's a vast contrast to their opponents who won the China Open Super 1000 back in 2018. But what a win it was from for Astrid and Rasmussen back in that tournament. Three, one. Same year, they became European champions. Service over. Two, three. A very good attack down the centre of the court here Service by the two over. youngsters. Four, three. Really well intercepted by Joel Ibe. Crisp smash. Just directed towards the centre and a direct winner. It's all about control of the net for either of the two pairs. Service situation, as usual, is crucial. Out. Service over. Four, all. Oh. Good serving there by Rasmussen. Oh. Yeah, so far, Astro and Rasmussen quite happily sit Save back and prepare to lift Five, and defend. And it's giving uh, the youngsters good opportunities. This time, a very nice cross court smash. Good angle here from Joel Ibit. Astrup and Rasmussen really have to push Astrup forwards to make sure that he takes control at the net and start getting the lift for his partner. Six, four. Ah, that's a good flick serve. Excellent seven, flick serve. Four. Setting up a three point lead, 7 4. Seems to be small signs of nervousness from Astrup and Rasmussen. Alice calls Rasmussen challenges, called in. And we have a challenge from uh, Anas. I think it's more of a tactical challenge. I think they just want to regroup a bit because that shot really seemed to be in from uh, Rasmus Kier. Yeah, landing within the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Eight for. Play. Oh, thank you. Four pounds. Service over. Good Five, interception from eight. Astrup there at the net. Yep. First time we kind of see the established pair on the attack. Good block from Astrup here, setting himself up very nicely.
Service over. Nine. It just five. proves what a mental game badminton is. As soon as the pressure's on you, it's very, very difficult to perform. This time, Joel oh, Ipu is very nine. unlucky, just top of the tape, but yeah, not going over. It yeah. would have been a winner. Thank you. Yeah, we've got it. Look at that one. Kim Astro far away from it. Play. But very solid defence from Astro and Rasmussen, and they seem to start working their way into this match. 6-9. Seven, nine. Good play from Rasmussen. Yeah, yeah, change. Yeah. Closing down the net nicely there, but not only that, trying to Eight, look at the wonderful nine. block shot. It's coming here, this one here, just clipping the top of the tape. That's good play from Anas Rasmussen. Rasmussen care really in dire straits. It's not easy to defend the shot like that. Now just one point in it. The last three points have gone to the favourites. Astrup and Rasmussen. All right. Two. Oh. All right. Service over. Ten. Eight. And as you see, because the fact of two Danish pairs playing one another, there is no coaching. The two pairs, both of course affiliated to the national training in, uh, in Brandy. However, the one talking now here, Rasmus Kier, is, uh, has been injured quite a lot lately with his having knee problems, his right knees is uh, having a lot of trouble and he has been asked to uh, leave the training in Brøndby for a little while and get back uh, later when he's ready again. So, um, he's got something to prove. That looked out. Twelve, eight. Yeah, well done by Astrup. Maintaining the attack Nine, safely, 12. not going 100% smashes, but making sure 
that the shot is nice and steep. Just maintaining that attack now. It's a good play for Mestrup. The lift from Estrup just too First short. Over, 9 Strong interception from uh, Kier. Here we see it yeah, yeah. coming back, and then the cross court on Rasmussen. Finding good angle, setting up Joel. again a four-point lead. Quicker Thirteen service. nine. Yeah. yeah. For the whole rally. Play on. Service over. Ten. So that was third. obviously the favourite formation for Astrup and Rasmussen, with Astrup at the net, controlling, and of course Rasmussen attacking from the back. And they need to get into that situation a lot, lot more at the moment. They're lifting too much. Oh! Service over. Fourteen. Ten. Yeah. Quick. Thank you. Service over, 11, 14. Service over, 15, 11. At the moment, the youngsters has won the battle at the net at the front of the court, forcing Play. their experienced opponents to lift. That return to the midcourt area was well placed. Wow. That's a good response from Astrup. Service over, 12-15. Very much out of balance, but still managed to hit the line. Service over, 16-12. Yeah, that was good play from Rasmussen at the net. Anas Rasmussen over, played the block shot 16. on that return and took charge at the front of the court, yep. forcing the error. And that's what uh, the pair in the black T-shirts really have to do a lot, lot more often. Really have to start taking control of that net, not 13, just giving the lift away too easily. Fifteen, sixteen. 
That serve from Estrup looked a little bit high, I must say. However, Rasmus Kier was not able to punish it. Service over. 17, 15. Yeah, very lucky shot there from Rasmus Kier. But well controlled from a tricky situation below the net. Took the chance, played it back, even though Astor was standing there. Over 16, 18. A lovely touch there from Joel. Joel Ipe. Wonderful cross court defensive shot. Somehow I feel that uh, this opening game is crucial for the youngsters. They they need stand a chance of winning this one. They need to win it. They need to win this opening game in order to have a very good chance for the rest of the match. Should they lose this opening Whoa! game, chances are that the hot favourites in this match will just cruise in the second. 18 all. After being 16 12 down. So! Service over. 19 18. So well, the nerves hold up here. Very crucial for Kier to surf. Oh! Oh! Yes! And game point has arrived for 20. the youngsters. Game point, 18. Two to be specific, 20 game point, 18. The first game won by Joel Aipe, Rasmus Kier, 21 The first game 18. goes to Joel Aipe and Rasmus Kier, 21 18 against Kim Astrup and Anas Skorb Rasmussen. Here we got the confirmation in 19 minutes, 21 18. And it is just amazing to see how well the two youngsters are playing today when there is no pressure. When I saw them play the other day against the German pair, it was so nervous and so many easy mistakes. Here they can play freely, they can do and whatever they feel like and suddenly the pressure is off and they play so much better. The same can be said for the opponents. Astrup and Rasmussen, I think they feel the pressure, they're the favorite to win it and they so desperately want to do well here at the Denmark Open. Last year they lost the first round, two years ago they lost the second, three years ago they lost the second round, and so it goes all the way down to 2013. They have never ever passed a second round here at the Denmark Open.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Try to serve, yeah. Come on. Hello. <coughs> Second game. Love all. Play. Already ends the second game. Love all play. I put to serve. Over one love. Oh! 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 Yeah, good Service rotational over. work. One all with the two youngsters. First, Kier and then Iper. Good play by Rasmussen. Service over. Two, you one. You know, he's got to take that fight to the net. That's not where he is naturally the best. But nevertheless, out of tactical reason, he's choosing to do so. I think that's showing strong commitment. Oh, Woo. Service over. Two, all. really have Three, to pick up his game. Two. Mistakes are creeping in. One. Normally he's the oh. creator, he's the one that really uh, set it all up for Alas Rasmussen, so he really needs to step up. bit of psychology, warfare here between the two pairs. Play. Yeah, once again, Astrup not decisive enough as when he's approaching the net. Rasmussen is doing the right thing, really staying on top of the net. But this one here is a little bit too loose. And Iper able to intercept. Oh! Service over, 6-4. No. 
Save is over. Five, six. believe that I almost got away with that one. I was over. very, Seven. very poor. Five. This one here, that is just so loose and still he almost got away with it. Got a good chance to finish it, however missed it. And this is where I really have to stay focused and not take too many chances. Great attack from the back here from Kier. Six. Great variation, Seven. not going for the power smash. Yeah. Completely catching the established pair off guard. Way! Okay. Silva. Whoa! Eight, six. from the back Six. from Anas Rasmussen, solid, kept going down the centre of the court and every single time Astrup was charging, yours, yours and yours. Over. And once again, Seven, I just ten. have to point out that Astro really had a good chance at the net to finish it. However, he got punished himself. Rasmussen goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-7. And some sort of normality is established. Yeah, the talk between uh, Kim and Anas is that uh, Kim is saying to Anas, you're the steady one, you just keep doing what you're doing. So I think Kim was sort of kind of admitting that, you know, he was not playing at his best. It's over, 8-11. Oh. Yeah, I put completely controlling that net. Nine, eleven. Oh. 
the first three points after Ten, the mid game interval. 11. It's gone to Ipen Kit, closing the gap to one point. Oh. 10 11 Kit to serve. Service over, 12, 10. Proclaiming that uh, care was 11, over the net twice. 13. On that one, and then on this one as well. Service over. 14, 11. Important for Astrop and Rasmussen to make sure that the shots they're playing are dropping below the height of the tape to make sure that the young players are playing from underneath and up. That's when the, the trouble begins for the younger pair. 15, 11. They seem fairly comfortable when they are in the attack when they're controlling the net and of course smashing a lot from the back but as soon as they have to play below the tape then of course trouble starts service over 12 15. That is well spotted by Anas Rasmussen. The way he moved forward, closed the gap in the net. Try to have a look at that. Look how quickly he goes. He also mentioned in the mid-game interval that very, very often that cross shot is coming. And this time he really decided to close it down. Service over. 13-16. Thank you. Fourteen, sixteen. Very crucial point now. Either fifteen, sixteen, or seventeen, fourteen. That's out. That's wide. Over Second time this is happening. First 40. time it was uh, Rasmus okay. Kier. Uh. Maybe that's giving a little bit of relief for Kim and Anas.
Uh, well played once again by Anas Rasmussen. Stepping 18, into it on 40. that defensive shot and really pushing it nicely down into the deep corner. That is, look at that, how look is moving forward. Excellent play. Service over. 15, 18. Excellent play by Rasmus Kerr. Wonderful, wonderful shot from him. Look at the angle he's creating 16, on that last shot. 18, yeah, yeah. Strong defence from the juniors first, and then look at this finish. That is really well played. Thank you. Sixteen, eighteen. Oh. Service over. Nine. And now the pressure's 16. on. Sixteen. First, Iper was missing his flick serve, and now Rasmus Kerr was missing his low serve. The pressure is really on. 19 16. Oh, 20, game point, 16. Four game points, 20, game point, 16. Astro to serve. Maybe this can calm the nerves a little bit. Service over. 17, 20. IPN Care representing the clock Skolls Hall in Denmark, the oldest badminton clock in Denmark, <coughs> playing in the badminton league. But uh, Rasmus Care hasn't played for the clock this year due to these injuries. And that's a strong return from Anas Rasmussen. Second game won by Kim Astrup and Anas Korob Rasmussen. 21-17, one game all. Uh, look at that return. Very strong. Good play from Rasmussen. And here we've got the confirmation in 39 minutes. First game 21-18 for Aipa and Kier. The second game 21-17 for Astrup and Rasmussen. We are treated to a final deciding game in this really good men's doubles match. Twenty seconds. 
20 seconds. Skal vi bare stå forfra og huske. Men så er chancen er der. Så må vi, så må vi spille af på nyt og på et nyt løft. Yeah, take it, you one, yeah. Stop! Yeah, okay. Final game. Laval. Play. Stop! Service over, one love. Yeah. Service over, one all. Mm. And once again, similar situation, strong return from Rasmussen. Over, two, one. Yeah, I think Astrup sort of indicated that his lift was not only too short, but it was also a little bit too flat. Makes it easier for their opponents to intercept it and inject more pace. Clash of rackets uh, from Rasmussen and Astrup resulted in this very poor lift and easy for Hype to kill it. Service fault call, too high. Service over, two, three. And the first service fault called for today. seems upside down in terms of how Astrup and uh, Rasmussen are playing. It's actually Rasmussen being much more decisive at the net than Astrup and that's very unusual. Service over for Three. Service over four. Extremely important for Astrup and Rasmussen to get a lead before the mid game interval. Otherwise, I think it can become a very, very nervy affair. Five, four. Yeah. 
Blake. Down there. That was going wide, that serve. Six. Astro chose Four. to play it. Seven, four, yeah. Yeah, the problem here is that the smash from Rasmussen is not powerful enough and not placed well enough, which is catching Astrup off guard Seven, as he's getting four. too close to the net. Good defensive skills from uh, Aipe and Kia. Setting up a three-point lead. Time! And once again, Eight, we see how Aipe is challenging Astro at the net. Play elect, five, nine. Players, please, both sides, try to be quicker. Thank you. A bit too oh, casual six, from Ipe. Nine. Good defensive shot there, but the next one here is a little bit too casual. It's getting punished. Over. And once again, Ten, Astrup is six. at the losing end of the rally at the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah very quick, because you're not allowed to, so if you do it really two seconds, otherwise you do it in an interval, okay? Thank you. Ten, six. Well left. Okay. Service over. Seven, ten. Good serving from Asmussen. Ten. Piquet goes into the mid-game interval as we are changing ends with a lead of 11-8. A 
think an added on dimension to the pressure for Rasmussen and Astrup is the fact that, uh, you know, they work as professional badminton players and haven't earned any prize money for seven months now. I think they are very, very keen to get to the good end of this tournament and earn some good prize money as well. I think that's adding on to the pressure. Eleven eight. Play. So can Iper and Kea maintain this unimpressed attitude? has made a conscious decision to challenge Astrup as much as possible. And that's a wonderful shot. Really, really well played by Iper. Try to look at how he's able to get that cross court. That's the one. Not easy. Setting up a five point gap. 13 8 in the third and deciding game. Are we having a major surprise coming up? Service over 9 13. Get ready. Service over, 14, 11. It's all about maintaining coolness under pressure. And it goes for both parties here. 14, 11. Lift too short, 15, too easy to put 12. away for Joel Ibe. Very, very nice attacking shot here. Very steep. Maintaining a three point lead as they're edging a little bit closer towards the end. And that's 
a good block shot from Kerr. Very, very good block shot. 16. And look at how he's blocking it, moving forward straight away. Look at this. That's it, moving forward. And, of course, that shot from Estrup was not one of the best. Service over, 13, 16. The gap is just down to one point. 15, 16. Good serving from Astro. Seventeen, fifteen. Play. Yeah, you can see that the pairs really know one another. Good low serve from Kerr, and then of course closing down the net. It's uh, knowing Astro most likely would try to play the net. Service over, 16-18. Service over, 19, 16. And now just two points away from a major sensation in Danish badminton. If Kerr and Ayupi can pull this one off. Ayupi has been very impressive at the net. And four match points have arrived. Twenty match point for the youngsters. Sixteen. A lucky shot there from Rasmus Kier, clipping the top of the tape, making it virtually impossible for Astrup to control it. Twenty match points. Sixteen. Look at the celebration. This just shows how much it means to these two young players. Thank you. Thank you. Good one. And what a disappointment it must be 
for Astrup and Rasmussen. Yeah, they worked hard in the final rally here, the two youngsters attacking and attacking and attacking. And here you see major celebration and confirmation. Joel Ipe, Rasmus Kier winning 21-18, 17-21, 21-16. Against the Danish favorites here, the number Four seats in the tournament. Kim Astrup and Anas Skorup Rasmussen. And uh, welcome back here to Denmark Open in Odense 2020. And we had a major upset here in the first match. In the men's doubles, it took 61 minutes for Ipe and Kier to win against Astrup and Rasmussen, the number 